Have you ever created this sort of an animation in DaVinci Resolve? Well, if not, then I will show you how to do that. So let's begin. So for this, we need some assets. So first of all, we need this background. This is just an image of a basketball court along with a crowd. And you can just go ahead and download any image for this, but make sure that there is a crowd in the background. And the next thing is the player. So you can go ahead, download any image of the player without the background, or you can see the PNG image of the player. And I also have this signature of the player. So this is optional. If you want to add it, this will just look nice in your video. And finally, we have this texture and this will act as the texture of our text. So let's begin. Now, first of all, right click over here and then create a timeline and unselect this use project settings then go over to format then select this use vertical resolution and hit create so you will get this vertical sort of frame now drag in this fusion composition and head over to the fusion page all right so the first thing is to add this background connect the background to the media out and also add this merge node now go ahead and drag in the image of the basketball board and connect it with the merge one and also, while you have this selected, just click on this transform and you can change the size from here. So somewhere around here. All right, so make sure that you select your media in and press control space, search for blur. And over here, you will get this blur. Now change the blur size to five. All right, and now let's move forward. Add some flashes. So it will look like someone taking a photograph in the crowd. Now, in order to do that, first of all, drag in this lips, then add this background. Connect this and change the color of the background to white. Now, connect the background to the merge one. Select your ellipse and then right click in the width section and then hit expression. And just select this plus and connect it with the height. Now, change the height to 0 0.1 and just place this somewhere around here like this. Now, while you have the background selected, just press control space and search for blur once again. And this time we're going to change the blur size to 48. And now let's also add a soft glow. So select your blur and then hit control space, search for soft glow. And now go ahead and change the glow size all the way to 100. And you will see that this gives us a similar kind of effect that you can see the light over here. We also have similar kind of light. And of course you can change the color if you want to, but I'm just going with white. All right, and now for the animation. So go over at 10 frames and select your merge tool. Now go over to blend and create a keyframe and then set this to zero. And move two frames forward and then change this to one and then three frames forward and then change this back to zero. And you will see that we will get this flash kind of effect. Then let's go over to 40 and do the same thing. So the zero at 40, two frames ahead, change this to one and three frames ahead and change this back to zero. So I have done this a couple of more times and let's play this now. So here you will see, it looks like a flash. And now I will add in another one. So just do the same thing, add an ellipse, add a background, connect this add a blur and a soft glow as well. Copy the settings from the first ellipse that we created. So just right click over here, press copy, and then right click over here and then select new settings. And do the same thing for all of them. Now you can simply connect this and select your ellipse and then move this right here. So here you will see we get this another flash over here and you can go ahead and animate this as well. So let's go over to merge and let's say at 20, do the same thing that we did before for the first one, zero over here, two frames ahead and then one and then three frames ahead and then back to zero. So I will do this quickly a couple more times and you will see the end result. All right, now let's see how this looks. So here you can see it's, it resembles someone taking a photograph from the crowd. And now that our background is done, let's go back to the main timeline. And over here, we now need to drag in another fusion composition and head over to it. Let's add in a background and then select this merge 
and connect the merge with the media out. Now over here at the background, I'm just going to change the alpha all the way to zero so that we can see our background that we just created. And now let's go ahead and add a text. So connect this text with the merge one and let's write in font that I'm using is Montserrat and let's change this to black and then change the size to 0 0.3. Let's go ahead and add another text and let's copy the first one and paste the settings over here. Connect this to merge one and then you can write in this and move them slightly. And for the first text, let's just go ahead and change this to 0 0.35. All right, and once that is done, let's go ahead and add in this texture and connect it with the merge. So go over to merge 3. And over here, just simply change the operator from over to in. And this will add the texture to your text. So this looks nice. And now let's go ahead and add in another text. Connect this with the merge 3. And let's write in the date over here and I'm also going to change the color to yellow and let's change the size to 0 0.07 all right and now we need to add a background over here so let's add in this rectangle and then this background connect these like this select your rectangle and then change the height to 0 0.05 and move this right here. Now let's add in another text connected with the merge 5 and then write the name of the player. Once again, Montserrat, but this time I'm going to use medium. And let's move this right here. And I'm also going to change the size to 0 0.06. So let's align this right here. So you can go ahead back to the rectangle that is the background over here and you can change the height once again so let's go with 0 0.03 so that this matches the text like this then go back to the text 4 and then go over to shading and over here you can change this to gradient and then move this slightly so that this gives in a nice effect all right now let's add in our player so select this and press transform and then connect it with the merge 6 and then you can go over to transform and change this to 3. So here you can see this is how it looks and you can position it where you want to. So I will just position this over here. And let's while we have the transform selected, just go over all the way to the end and create a keyframe at center and then also at angle. Now go back to 0 and over here you can just slightly move the x axis and also the angle to let's say minus 5. All right, and if we play this now, you will see that there is a movement. All right, and now we need to add our signature. So just go ahead, add in the signature and a background as well. Connect this and also add the transform node and then connect it with the merge. Now you can change the color from the background. I will just select this white color and let's select our transform, change the size to 2 and just move this right here. Now, if you think that this is not visible, what you can do is go back to the player node, the player that we have over here, and just go ahead and add this color corrector. And you can change the gain from here, so just decrease this. And now go ahead and add in this rectangle as well, and connect this to the color corrector, so that we know where we want to add this color correction. So we only want this somewhere around here, Let's just increase the width to 5 and change the soft width as well. So let's go all the way to 0 0.2. And over here, we can just move this so that this looks okay. So at 0 0.5, it looks fine. So now we have everything done. And what we need to do is animate the text as well. So let's go ahead and animate the text in the background. So in order to do that, just go over to the text one right click over here and then select follower go over to modifiers and over here change the order to random but one by one and also change the delay to five now go over at shading and then go over to let's say 20 frames 
and create a keyframe at opacity. Then go back to zero and change this to zero. So if you play this, this is how the text will appear. And we're going to do the same thing for our text too. So as you can see, we have the animation for our text. Now let's go ahead and animate this text as well. So let's go over at 20, change the, and select our text, change the right on to zero and create a keyframe. Then go all the way to 40, change this back to one. So here you will see, we get this animation as well. And now let's go over at 60 and add this one. First of all, I'm going to select the rectangle over here. And let's add this rectangle so that this can act as the mask. Connect this with the merge 5. And you can see this is already acting as the mask. So let's go over at 70 and create a keyframe at center and go back to 50 and remove this. So if you play this now, this is how it will look. And then let's go over to 60, select our text, go over to write on, create a keyframe, add zero in the write on, and then add 70. Let's go ahead and change this to one. So if you play this, this is how it will look. And now for the final thing, we need to reveal the signature. So this is also simple. Just drag in the rectangle connected with merge eight, increase the width and move this down like this. Now let's go over at 80 and create a keyframe at center. And then let's go over at 50 and change this like this. And if you play this, this is how it will look. Now you can go over at spine, select rectangle four, select the keyframes over here and hit S on the keyboard. And this will ease them in. And you can do the same thing for rectangle three. So let's go over to rectangle three. So here we have the animation. And for the final thing, let's go ahead and add a transform node under the merge eight. And now let's go over at 50 create a keyframe at transform and then just one frame later go ahead and change the y-axis to 0 0.47 so here we have the animation done and let's go over to our main timeline and see how this looks all right so this was it this is how you can create this sort of an animation in davinci resolve i hope you liked the video and i'll see you in the next one